Aloha. This is the green lighting, Mr. T. Still re recording stuff. Blah blah blah. Man, did my watch break or something? No, nope, okay, it's still making. No, it was just. It was so quiet. Um. So we're here at Dunwall Tower. Place where it all started. I can't use that in the water. Thankfully there aren't any piranhas around this area. So there's stuff. Gosh, I don't know. It's it's always troublesome re-recording because, well, as I've said before, you're trying to get back to where you were and you rush things. So half the time it's not as good as the original. Well sometimes it's better. So I don't think that's this time though. I money. Just the fortune too? Yeah, they changed again. I don't know why Maybe it's because I've always started at the... Because the way I'm doing things now is that I, I, start, I start off from the end of the last episode. So maybe going into the next, that's why they're changing. I'm being different. I don't need to be crouched. Or... I can't remember. Ugh. All these changing bone charms. I don't remember what bone charms I have anymore. Maybe I should just do a quick check. Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. <laughs> So one thing to note is that we did get the skeleton skeleton key in the last episode or yeah mission mission that's the word. I like crouch again. I oh I don't know. I don't need to be crouched. I can just walk around. So easy thing to do is go on the roof in my opinion. As I, that's what I've discovered at any rate. coming up is rather annoying because there's these things you can knock over.
stop making noise. Okay, are they not all knocked over? No more noise. It's actually advantageous not to be seen in this sort of section. It makes, if you're going for killing the Roar region, a lot easier. It doesn't really matter if you're going for not killing them. the Warlock isn't- I don't know where I read it, but apparently the Warlock actually doesn't work. And since without Soak Club, no one knows how to fix it. But I don't know where that is. Okay. Then time. I'm being so awful. Let's just go in this way. Right. Um, how do I get into this thing? I can't see. There we go. Let me rebuild my mana from that. If he actually stays in his, um, if you get caught and something bad happens or something, um, or too many people think something's going on, um, he'll go to his, he'll stay in the safe house. And you can actually, um, do a big reveal if you want by using the television, which is fun. I love doing that, but it only works if he's not heading to his bedroom. Yeah, we got tons of time before he gets here. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing here to do with me. Okay, so this is a fun and interesting one. Because <laughs> this is what happens if you sign your guest book and you're the party, you don't ruin the party. So, 
I'm not gonna bother reading it. I don't know. Oh gosh, this is such a mess. I oh yeah, that's one of the thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I oh great, I haven't done that yet. Maybe that's why he's not here yet. Go this way, we got safe. Whoops. Um I'm thinking that once I get through this game, I'm gonna take a break. Oh gosh dang it. Whatever. That's why having the skeleton key is nice. Um, then you don't have to deal with that stupid pylon. Um, what was I saying? Something? Oh yeah. I think I have an idea of what I want to do next, although... It, there's a in, in 64, Nintendo 64 game that I want to... That I really badly want to play. So I figured I might as well record it, but yeah, I'm not, that'll have to wait, I guess. I don't know, this is boring. Uh, I said something before about actually hearing the guy behind the mic in person being kind of awesome, but whatever. Please. Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier. His confessions will be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. So at this point... He's in his room now. Why on earth did you just open the door? Or are you giving a report or something? What's going on? General Tobias, any word on the masked felon? Our assassin? We have our best spies on him, but still no word on his identity. There are rumors he uses witchcraft. <laughs> he hides behind a mask and uses parlor tricks on the weak-minded. Of course, sir. Trust me, we'll find you. I hope so, General. Me now. Yes, Lord I wish he had I wish I could do the reveal. It's so awesome. <clears throat> Someone doesn't know how to play with Kevin. Of course I don't either. Why doesn't he have a TV in this room? <laughs> well this will be fun. Since I went there first, um, he basically, it's based, once he entered that room, like, he starts on his way back, so he was there. <laughs> so I guess I, well, I had the brilliant idea of possessing him, and then using him to <laughs> get his own audiograph for me, if which I was awesome. Him, then you will see I am not at 
Oh. And now, to imagine what his face will look like listening to this. To rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent and let them take care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly at first. But the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick, there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked if everyone had just followed orders. <sighs> and I'm going way faster than I was before. Like, it took me, like, two parts to get here, basically. I'm here in one. <laughs> so yeah. What are you doing? I order you to put down your weapons. This is treason. It's over, Hiram. Your head will roll for what you've done. No! I'll make you rich men if you just let me go. I beg you. You nearly destroyed this city. No amount of money will undo that. Get him ready for the walk to Coldridge Prison. Yes, sir. So there's your option, opportunity to kill him, after ruining his life. So, at this point, <laughs> I should probably end the episode and start working on the rest of the, what I have to do. I don't know. <sighs> Re-recordings are annoying. Especially when they're your fault. So, at any rate, this has been The Green Lighting Mr. T. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And to you, I say, aloha.